Flanked by other members of the Judicial Service Commission, Chief Justice David Maraga delivered the eagerly awaited news on the fate of judges whose conduct has been put into question. The commission noted that three judges had failed to meet the threshold to observe other corridors of justice, citing various violations established in their line of duty. On the 2nd and 8th of May this year, the commission deliberated on the petitions lodged against the judges and, and the complaints against the magistrates. The findings leaving the commission with no choice but recommend their dismissal from the service in the bench. After hearing uh, three petitions, the, commissioner, the commission was satisfied that they disclosed grounds for removal under Article 1 of the Constitution and made a decision to petition His Excellency the President for the appointment of, of tribunals under Article 168.5 of the Constitution. Top Supreme Court judges whose conduct has been put on the spotlight, however, appear to have won the hearts of the Commission members. High-profile petitions against Justice J.B. Ojuang and Jo Kindongo were, however, dismissed by the JSC over lack of merit. The petition by Mr. Apollo Mboya against the Honorable Justice J.B. Ojuang and the Honorable Justice Njokindungu on allegations of misconduct of those judges arising from their pronouncements in the Nick Salat case. With regard to the two petitions pending against the four Supreme Court judges arising from the Wachia gubernatorial petition, the Commission confirms that four uh, judges have also filed their responses. Maraga says the commission spared the two over lack of substantial evidence to warrant any action against them. Chief Justice Maraga also noted that he had filed his response in a petition against him and four other apex court judges in regard to a jail gubernatorial petition. In Thursday's sanction by JSC, five magistrates have been served with charges on various acts ranging from irregular release of exhibits, forging of documents, bribery, among other forms of corruption, with the magistrate given 14 days to file responses.